What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome to a Friday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast with me, Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk Matt, to follow me across all socials. This podcast being brought to you by OmahaStakes.com. Use the URL www.omahasteaks.com slash juice to get four free chicken breasts and four free pork chops with your order simply by using that URL code, code omahasteaks.com slash juice. Okay, three, two, and one on the night. The trend goes one, zero, oh, and one. We get a lucky no call at the end of the game involving Cal State Fullerton. They lost by two. We laid the two. That pushed. Three and a half for Southern Indiana. They got a backdoor bucket to lose by two. That was beautiful. So one, oh, and one. Not the outright wins that we would like for the other ones, but still, the trend does roll on here. And now 10, two, and one. That trend so far here since I've been playing it. Nothing applies, at least nothing I could find at the moment, in college basketball tonight, it's a Friday night. There's not much going on. There's two de- there's two teams that I saw that are home dogs. Both of them won their previous game at home and on the road. So nothing qualifies. So the trend is off for tonight. But it was a good night, up 1.5 units last night. We get the Illinois game came in easily with them laying two and a half. We got uh, the, man, the parlay. <laughs> This is a frustration. This is why parlays stink, okay? Because plus 463, Vegas 5-1. We hit it. Under 6.5 for the Philadelphia Flyers, 5-1. We hit it. It was 3-1 to one after 1 in the Boston Bruins. I thought it was dead. But I told you in the Discord channel, I said, hey, why don't we, you should probably bet. Whenever there's a big first period like that and four goals get scored, you can bet the second period under one and a half, two and a half. It's probably pretty good. One goal got scored in the second period. It was three, two all the way until four minutes to go. And the Bruins scored to go up four to two. And pasta was going for a hat trick with 30 seconds left. The Bruins get the open net goal five, two. We lose the bet. We lose the parlay. That was so we were 30 seconds away from cashing that. That's Dunk, but that's parlay betting. Okay, that's why I say don't bet parlays because you know those things happen. If you bet them straight, you went two and one, and you would have been profitable. Instead, we went for the big hit, the plus four sixty three. We didn't get it, so half a unit goes down there. We split on the player props. Did not get Chet Holmgren over eighteen and a half points. We got Anthony Edwards over twenty five and a half. So that was good. So three, two, and one night up one point five units. So that's good for us here as we head towards a Friday. We have a very good week going. We're going to look to continue a good week, but man, it's Friday and there's not a lot to bet on. I haven't done a full NBA card in a while and I'm petrified to do it, but I'm going to do it here with this and I'm going to have three units involving two games and I'm just cringing because I don't like anything else. But I'm going to jump in, and I'll tell you why here in just one second. But first and foremost, have you guys downloaded the Betting Pros app as of yet? If you want a free trial, bettingpros.com slash apps. Bettingpros.com slash apps. You will get a free trial of Betting Pros Premium on the application to see everything the app can do, all the predictive things that the app will provide for you. Bettingpros.com slash apps to download and sync and track your bets. With the, de- with the Betting Pros app, you can seamlessly track all your sports books from one app. You can also view your performance across sports, bet types, and books, and follow other users other users, and trail their bets when they get hot. Go to bettingpros.com slash apps to download the app and to get a free trial of Betting Pros Premium. All right, let's start with my team, the Boston Celtics, 19-0, straight up, up against the Denver Nuggets, the defending champs come to town. Here's the problem for Denver. They stink on the road. They are 7-14 ATS. It's been a tough run of it here for Denver as of late. Boston should have KP back. They should have Derek White back. Boston should be pretty close to being 100% for this game. Celtics are 13-7 ATS on the year, and they are... Uh, 20 and 0 now or 19 and 0? Hold on. Are they 20 and 0 at home? They very well might be 20 and 0 at home. They are 20 and 0 at home. Sorry. 20 and 0. The all time record is 40 and 1 in the NBA. 
They're not playing for the record. Now, just give you an idea where Boston is here, okay? 20 you know, they've yet to lose at home. Now, watch them lose tonight because I'm betting on them. This is, that's what's going to happen here. When I bet Boston, I also, one of the player props tonight, it may not be a player prop, just might be a prop. The Boston Celtics team total. The game is 233 and a half. Celtics first half team total. Very possible that's going to be a bet here. I can't bet it. No one has it up yet, but I may bet it. But I'm laying the five and a half. Boston minus five and a half up against the Denver Nuggets here. 13 and seven Boston. They've covered three straight games, including a home game against San Antonio and a home game against Houston. Road game against Toronto. Boston didn't cover against Minnesota when they were laying 10 and a half. They won by seven, too big of a number. But when they were laying 14 against Utah, they won by 29. When they were laying uh, four and a half was the last time we saw a number this low against Toronto. They only won by two. 17 against Detroit, they won by six. It's more a fade on Denver. Road game against Philadelphia, they lost by five as two-point dogs. Road game against Utah, laying seven, lost by 13. Road game against Golden State, laying four, they won by three. Road game up against Charlotte, laying 11, they won by seven. They just aren't good on the road. They have not been good on the road since really like early and mid-December. Not trusting Denver to go into Boston here and cover this. I'm going to lay the five and a half Celtics minus five and a half. Take that 20 and 0 record and see what they can do with that ATS record of 13 and seven. I like them against here with this streak and last two games for Denver. They have not last five, two and three ATS four and six over the last 10 and seven and 14 on the road for Denver. Let's ride the trend here. Take the streaks, put them in motion. Celtics minus five and a half up against the Denver Nuggets. Other game. And I got two bets on this. Atlanta at Miami. This is interesting when you start looking at where teams are. Okay, ATS-wise, the Atlanta Hawks are the worst team in basketball. They're 10-30 and ATS. Now, Miami's not amazing. They're 19-21-1. But they're better (laughs) than the Atlanta Hawks by a ways. In terms of overs... Atlanta is 23 and 17. That is only two shy of the lead with Detroit and Indiana, who have 25 games that have gone over. For the Heat, sorry, for uh, the Hawks, they're 23 and 17. The Heat, well, I mean, they're 18 and 23. Okay, so they're definitely somewhat of an under team. But when you look at the way these teams are going to play and the way these teams have played, Atlanta on the road against Miami from a total perspective, you've got a 11 and 8 to the over Heat at home and 11 and 10 to the over Hawks on the road. I'm going to lay the six points with Miami to fade the worst team ATS in basketball, a team that's 6 and 15 ATS on the road. I know Miami's 8 and 11, all right? It's not great, but I'm going to lay it with Miami who have played better of late, although the last two games on the road they did not cover. But at home, against Charlotte, laid eight and eight and a half, one by 17. Against Orlando, laid one, one by three. Didn't cover against OKC, but against Houston, laying four, they won by seven. Three of the last four games at home, Miami has won and covered. They had a long road trip, but Philadelphia back on Christmas Day, one by six, they covered against the Atlanta Hawks. In Miami, they were laying one, and they won by nine. That's good for this game here. Laying six up against a team for for the Hawks. First game of a road trip here for Atlanta. Coming off of a five-game homestand in which they went two and three ATS. They won their last game against Orlando, laying five and a half, but four and a half, but they only won by two, so they did not cover. Last time on the road against Orlando, laid two, lost by seven. Catch, they got three against Indiana. They lost by 34. Laying six and a half against Washington. One by four, didn't cover. They were catching one, sorry, catching, uh, laying two and a half against Chicago. Lost by five. They were laying, and, and then all the way back to Miami, they caught one. They lost by nine. Not good on the road at all for the Miami Heat, for the Atlanta Hawks. One in nine against the division. Five in 25 ATS against the East. Hawks are awful. Laying the six points. Miami minus six for 1.1 units. And then we're going to go play the over. 
228 is the total. We're going to go over 228 here. Yes, this is going against both teams are one and four to the over. So four and one to the under over their last five games. But that's got more to do about where these games are being played. The game that got played against Atlanta was 238 and a half. It did go under minus three and a half. But I think you might get, you guys might get a better number than I'm going to get here. But I'm just going to go with the fact that we've seen games go over this number of 238 or two, sorry, 228 rather. And the last time these two teams played when it was, it was 238 and a half. The last time these teams, it went under by three and a half. So now we're over correcting here, going all the way down to 228. We're going to bet the over in the Hawks and the heat. All right. There will be player props, two of them. And we might go with a half a unit on the Celtics team total in the first half. Combined with two NBA player props, that's possible. There might be an NHL play that I want to get into, but there's nothing that I really love right now with the NHL. We missed the parlay yesterday. Uh, I'm not doing great in hockey. I might look at Minnesota and Florida to the over, but who's in net for Minnesota? That matters. If it's Gustafson, I may bet the over there for Minnesota and Florida. <clears throat> I may take Jersey in Columbus on the over there. And then maybe just the Islanders to win the game. I don't know. It's only four games in hockey. So I'm not in love with the hockey slate. Small slate in the NBA. But Boston and Denver is the marquee game of the night. That game's on ESPN on national TV. Five and a half. Boston laying it 1.1 units. Laying the six with Miami. 1.1 units. And over 228 for the Hawks and the Heat. Player props in the Discord channel. Bettingpros.com slash chat. I'll tell you what else I'm going to add. Definitely two player props, maybe Celtics team total in the first half, and potentially a hockey play as well, depending on how it all shakes out. In the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me across all socials, at Sports Talk Matt. Each and every morning, Daily Juice Podcast, always being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. 